Hey guys, it's Ben here today from SBS Boards. Just wanted to do a quick little video all about stand-up paddleboarding exercises to improve your stability and balance. So guys, you may need a few bits of equipment. With stand-up paddleboarding, we're on water, we're constantly varied and different directions, planes of motion. So having a Swiss ball, something like this, is gonna be great. Having even a BOSU ball or an Indo board or a balance board trainer is gonna be also great. Or even a stability disc is gonna be perfect. So this exercise is using a balance board and a paddle with a resistance band. Again, it's one of those perfect exercises for supping because you're using balance and the motion that you do when paddle boarding. Switching sides can be a, an added variation and trying to stay stable is a great way to stay in shape. So this exercise is kneeling on the Swiss ball. Again, if you've never done this, it's quite good fun and a good test for your balance. We're using the core and activation of the glutes and the lower back in this one. So it's a great one for stand-up paddleboarding. This exercise carries on from the one we've just previously done. Standing up is a bit more advanced. It's gonna require a lot more strength and control and balance. If you've never done this before, I'd recommend that you do do it just with a soft floor, just in case you fall off. This exercise is really specific to stand-up paddleboarding. Balancing on the Swiss ball, incredibly difficult, unstable surface, whilst paddling with your paddle with a resistance band to mimic that water resistance. The Bosu Dumbbell Wood Chop is a great functional movement, very specific to stand-up paddleboarding as it's a dynamic movement that uses the same muscles as a crossbow turn, as well as pivot turns in flat water or the surf. You can use a resistance band or a weight for this exercise. The single leg bent over row is a really hard exercise to master. You're activating calves, glutes, hamstring, lower back, core and balance all in one movement. The BOSU 360 is a great exercise to get you walking up and down your SUP. Transferring weight from heel to toe, it's perfect for anyone looking to progress their surf stance and perfect their heel toe flexibility. The advanced BOSU 360 is perfect for those that want to perfect their pivot turns as this is a great one to use in the surf and a great way to practice at home. Use dumbbells or an external weight to make it harder. As you can see, the BOSU high knee to bicep curl is a pretty difficult exercise. This movement is perfect for helping stabilize your whole body on one leg. Great for out in the ocean where you have to transfer your feet from different positions quickly. The BOSU ball kettlebell swing is a classic, a powerful movement requiring lots of balance and stability all at once. Very similar to stand-up paddleboarding where you have to produce a lot of power and balance at the same time. The BOSU ball one-legged kayak paddle is a very advanced exercise that's really going to start to burn those shoulders and very specific to stand-up paddleboarding. Same movement but on one leg makes it a lot more difficult. A weighted bar will definitely make this challenging. BOSU ball sup paddles are a specialized exercise that mimics the resistance of the ocean whilst also giving you the stability challenges of a normal paddleboard on the water. Try to get 30 to 50 strokes each side. BOSU ball sit throughs are a very advanced exercise that's really going to help stabilize your core whilst on the water. This advanced exercise requires you to stabilize your shoulders whilst moving your hips through the body and underneath the BOSU. Single arm BOSU ball kettlebell swings. These are super difficult, but very rewarding. Mimicking one arm paddling in very choppy conditions. This one is really gonna have you sweating hard. Overhead, bo Overhead BOSU ball lunges help stabilize the core through different planes of movement. This is a great one to really help your shoulder mobility and also really improve that stability of the shoulder next time you're out powderboarding. Swiss ball bicycle kicks. As you can see, this exercise takes a lot of focus and a lot of dedication to master. This exercise uses the full body, but it's really gonna give your abs a solid burn. The pistol squat is an advanced movement that predominantly uses the quadriceps, glutes, and your balance to stay stable. This exercise is gonna help to build strength and stamina in the legs. It's really gonna help in races and paddling out in the surf. A version of the pistol squat is the side and back variation. 
Using the core and predominantly the legs, this variation is really going to test your stability and mobility. For the side and back variation, try and get your knee as close to the floor on each one. The skater is a dynamic move that's got to work on single leg stability whilst also working your quadricep explosive strength. Perfect for endurance, this one's going to be a real leg burner. The Bosu Ball Squat is one of the most advanced exercises you can do. Utilising one leg stability on an uneven surface is really going to push your surf skills to the max. Try and keep the Bosu as flat as possible whilst doing the Pistol Squat. The Bosu Banded Row is a great exercise for building a strong back whilst working on that core strength and lower back stability. Anything from 15 to 30 reps, or for endurance, anything above 1 to 2 minutes is going to be great. The Swiss Ball Lat Pull is a great exercise to build up those strong paddling muscles. This exercise uses the biceps and the lats, as well as the posterior chain, to help stabilise your body throughout the movement. Perfect for building endurance in the shoulders. Swiss Ball Banded Twists mimic the torso rotation needed when turning a sup. The unstable surface of the Swiss ball, as well as the resistance band, makes this one a perfect exercise for any stand-up paddleboarder looking to improve their turns. For more surf workouts, check out these two videos.